however small, they can be detected. It is only thou that cannot be measured of its immensity nor detected of its existence. Therefore, it is larger than the largest and leaves nothing excluded, and yet it can be smaller than the smallest and leaves nothing not penetrated. It is ubiquitous. It merges into and governs all. It is in charge of the space, the earth, human beings, all the creatures, and all existences. It penetrates and regulates the entire universe. It is the source of all the scriptures, sutras, as well as dharmas. It encompasses all the religions, and it is what makes one a Buddha or a saint. It is the single chief of all. And, above all, it is in charge of each individual too. It is the Divine Self. This is the true meaning of Tao. We should get to know it this way and rediscover our own invaluable treasure. So, to practice Tao is to revive one's own conscience as well as everyone else's and to act upon it accordingly. Then, all people can be of one spirit. All nations can be in peace like a family, and the great harmony will come true. How precious Dallas! I I D A O and M E the significance of Dallas in its immensity and ubiquity. Its mightiness guides the universe to carry on with changing seasons and evolving creatures. The countless aspects of the natural phenomena seem so capricious and yet really in order and in cycles. This almighty being also resides in each of us. It is the divine self, the natural quality of a person. It enables us to see, to feel, to taste, to hear and to move without learning. While we research the ultimate truth in the universe, we should turn in upon and see into ourselves to discover that divine self.